think I just passed a stone. Oh, damn it, not my shoes. Okay, I get it. Never break the guy code again. Holy crap! Damn it, I can't think of any good dick jokes. What a wasted opportunity. He's loud, mouthy, silly, goofy, vulgar, wacky, off the wall, and any other loony adjective you can think of. He's the Duke Nukem of Marvel, encompassing everything video games used to offer before they grew up. No longer are vulgarity and sexism appropriate forms of entertainment, except when you play Deadpool, the over-the-top hack-and-slash game by High Moon Studios. The game is filled with inappropriate, sometimes uncomfortable, dick and boob jokes and sexism, but it kind of works. Deadpool knows what it is, a pedestrian action-adventure that relies on toilet humor as a crutch to its shallow plot and crude jokes. I have a package that... So do I. Yoink! <laughs> Package. Like the character, the game doesn't take itself too seriously. The whole time it knows it's a game, and Deadpool is aware of the fact, breaking the fourth wall, addressing the player, and speaking to the game designer as events are unfolding. Deadpool doesn't let you forget that you're playing or making a game. Uh, not sure if you knew, but I'm kind of a big deal. This is like my video game. Like, I can just get you programmed out of existence if I wanted to. High Moon Studios has abandoned any sense of real plot, opting to instead rely on the zany personality of Deadpool to carry the story, which is, well, that it's a game. Deadpool forces High Moon Studios to make a game for him, throw in some classic Marvel cameos, the villainous Mr. Sinister, and a few one-liners, and that's about as deep as the story goes. I didn't sign up for this. Nolan North does a fantastic job as the Merc with a Mouth. Each line is delivered with the entertaining, maniacal tone you'd expect of Wade Wilson, and oftentimes, it's North's acting ability that carries what would otherwise be an uncomfortable joke. Ah, that water is cold and deep. <clears throat> Whether or not you find boob and dick jokes funny is up to the individual like player this. and your taste for vulgarity. With twin blades and an arsenal of weaponry at your disposal, fighting is entertaining, though somewhat repetitive toward the latter half of the game. There just isn't enough variation. Combat relies on a combo system that builds up momentum, which in turn can be used for flashier moves and attacks. Deadpool relies on a mix of melee and ranged weapons, and combining the two forms in a seamless combo can be very rewarding. Not only does it look pretty, but it will help you earn more Deadpool points which can be spent unlocking new weapons, moves, and skills in a pretty shallow upgrade system. It gives you a sense of customizing your character, but the various upgrades are hardly noticeable or unique. We're giving Deadpool a 7.0. Deadpool is the very thing it makes fun of, a generic action game with little innovation that sometimes finds its foot in its mouth. That's not to say it isn't entertaining, though. The character of Deadpool makes the more dull aspects of the game enjoyable and forgivable. Fans of the character will undoubtedly enjoy North's performance, combat is passable, and the graphics, while not the best, are far from ugly. If you can tolerate Deadpool's demented humor and this camera, you'll find a nice few hours of entertainment within the game. What do you think of this game? Leave a comment below, and for more gaming news, reviews, cheats, and original videos, be sure to subscribe and go to GameZone.com. Thanks for watching.